Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with a tutorial. I'm going to make a necklace today. I, If you're part of my bead group, you might have seen these items like months ago when I did an inspiration like what's on my bead desk thing. Um, yeah, I swept them all into a bag and never did anything with them. <laughs> but they, they're still in the bag so I want to do something with them. Um, these beautiful shells that I got from Al's Beads. Um, just a bunch of other stuff that I thought I pulled some nice colors out of these shells so um, I think these are I thought they were venturing but they're not they're either serpentine or like that new jade which is like dyed quartz I don't know what they are they're some green gemstone but it, I thought it hinted at the green in the um, shells some peach um, fairy silk from Jesse James beads um, I even got out some tiger eye which funny thing I was looking for some tiger eye like two nights ago and I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for and it must have been in this bag <laughs> um, some little check glass beads that I got from a haul they're just like the per perfect color to ma um, match these um, some little rose quartz pieces um, some sunstone love that um, some uh, seed beads and some Jesse James beads pink um, enamel chain some zebra jasper I don't know I, I'm not gonna use all of these things but I wanted like just a good amount of things to choose from and then some little check glass bicones um, yeah and I just got these in a haul they kind of match but they're a little bit of red but I like them and I got, I got, I just got a bunch of stuff all over the place. So we'll see. <laughs> um, I might want to do two different necklaces. Like the, the one that comes to mind, I just want to do a bunch of shells right here and then just bead up the sides. Um, I think I have a whole nother strand of these, so I'm not going to be stingy with them. Um, but I haven't decided if I want to just stack them on top of each other like they already are, or if I'd like to space them. So I'm going to find my bead stringy wire. I think I want to go with gold today oh, I was looking for these I was looking for these in another video in that snake video couldn't find them snake snake uh, bracelet video they were buried on my desk my desk is atrocious right now all right oh and I, maybe some brass hmm I have brass beads all over the place so I have these brass beads from Tucson I think I even like started designing this necklace before Tucson, so that tells you how long ago that was. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to use these as the spacer? Actually, I really want to use the other check glass beads. And now I don't know where I. Oh, here they are. Yeah, I really like these. I do want to get some pink in here too. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the sunstone. We might save this towards the back, and I want to see. No, where is that Jesse James Bead chain? Maybe this towards the back to finish it off. But let's pop open this little strand here. I don't have. Um, I don't think I have very small gold seed beads. I think I have six or eight O's but I don't have oh I'm I'm fibbing I see them right here these are old I mean I've got I've had these for 10 or 15 years yeah I don't know do I want to use brass or do I want to use Life is hard. <laughs> Decisions are hard. I think I think I'm gonna set these aside for now and use the the gold seed beads. Uh, seed beads. I have my beetle on. Bead stringing wire. And I'm just gonna start. Using a seed bead between each bead. Seeing how I like that. Mm 
I'm trying to start <clears throat> with the same way on the, the shell each time on the outside, so I don't know if that's a mistake. If I, oh no, I like that. Okay. But I didn't realize some of the shells are different sizes. So now, like these are shorter, I'm going to have to kind of figure that out. Look at this guy, that guy's so pretty. So maybe I'll just do like, well, we're going to go smaller to larger. All right, it was a lot easier to work that out off camera <laughs> um, because there was just a lot going on and I needed to be a little bit closer to the beads than I usually am when I'm doing things on camera. Okay, so again, I'm going to start like we were. And I am just going to go ahead and string all of these shells onto my wire. Okay, this is just so lovely. I love, love, love the, how it looks spaced out because now I can see the beautiful different colors and I've chose that really, really pretty one for the middle because it was the largest. Um, and I'm just gonna figure out what I want to go up the sides. Um, I don't think I want, I kinda wanna include these, but I'm not sure. I don't know, I don't think I want, I think these are just a little too dark for what I'm looking for actually. Yeah, I think that's just a little too dark. Um, that's not going to work. I want bigger round beads, though, not specifically these. Oh, my sunstone. I think that'll be pretty. I do want to get a little more brown in there, though. <clears throat> I think I'm going to hit my check glass and see or my seed beads or something and see if I have a brown that I think will work well with this okay I didn't have to go far I have these um, my Yuki's I have 80 and 60 I'm thinking the 80s will be better and I'll space them with the gold as well so I think that's gonna be really pretty um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna get started so I'm just going to open up my sunstone love that I just love it it's like the perfect pink for this peachy pink and then I'm gonna open up I think I'm gonna use the Eidos here I got these from Hobby Lobby they're half off so if you don't have access to um, like a, just a dedicated bead store and you want some quality seed beads. Although I don't really like to shop at Hobby Lobby that often, um, they do have nice uh, Picasso seed beads <clears throat> and they're usually half off every other week or so. I don't really like to shop at the big box stores anymore. Oh, I think that's a little too small. I think I might switch to the, eight, the 6 0. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think that's a little small. I think I'm going to switch over to the 6 0. So I want to clean these up first because <laughs> then I will be grabbing the wrong bead every five seconds. Now, if these 8 0s don't, I'm sorry, the 6 0s don't work, um, I have one other option, but it didn't go as well as these. Um, these are from Bead World in Phoenix, but they do have a website. Now, there are two different Bead Worlds. Um, in Arizona, they're run by the same company, but in the grand scheme of things, there are other bead worlds too, and I've shopped from another one that was really cool there in Seattle, but this one is just, I think, beadworld.com. All right, I don't know. I think these seed beads are gonna be too big for, or too small for these holes. So let's see. Huh, no, that worked. All right, so yeah, I kind of like that just a little better than how the small ones looked.
Oops. All right, I'm gonna beat up the sides until I meet my desired length. Okay, so I ended up adding a little bit of green up the sides. I added one of these little jade cubes or whatever, serpentine cubes probably. Um, and then I added, so I put three of the sunstone, then the cube, then three more, and then I added in one of those check by cones, then three more sunstone, and then I finished off with seven more by cones at the back. This is a little bit longer necklace. It's not, it's um, not, around my neck well it's around my neck but it's not um over my chest it's be uh, above my chest but it's pretty long um now i just need to put on a clasp okay i think i'm just gonna go with a really simple clasp i have two different ones this one's the gold's a little different i like this one better but nobody's really gonna see it and i want to save this for maybe a bracelet because it's a little bit nicer so i was thinking i had like a mermaid class because i'm using shells but i think it was either silver and it's just not in my clasp drawer i don't know i would have painted it a different color if i had used it but th that doesn't matter <laughs> um i'm gonna have got out my crimp beads here they are actually i think i want to use crimp tubes on this one I ended up taking off some of the shells and re-matching um, them with shells that looked a little bit closer to the size on the other side because it, it, the middle of the necklace really wasn't the middle because part of these, or some of these shells were a little bit thicker than their counterparts on the other side, so um, they weren't matching up very well. So that took a little bit longer, but I know I would have noticed every time I went to wear the necklace. We just want to make sure that our um, wires aren't crossed. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay. Yeah, they're crossed there, and they, they kind of don't look like they are. That's why you got to pay attention. All right, let's put this down here. Put that in the largest valley of the crimping players and squish and so what we want to see is um, these wires heading into the different sides now they kind of came together in the front but that's okay we're fine and then we're gonna move it up our pliers turn it 90 degrees and squish again there we go rolling it into a tube all right, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm just going to scooch this um, wire into some of my beads. I don't do that for, I know you've, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, I do this not because it keeps your necklace any more sturdy. It just looks better to me than cutting the wire off at the crimp. And um, case I mess up I don't have to restring my entire necklace like this necklace would be a pain to restring the entire thing um, I could just crack the crimp off although this bead you know what this I'm just gonna take the crimp bead or not the crimp bead the seed bead off this side because I'm not restringing this um, although these beads this uh, it seems like these check beads are a little they look they're a little tight so I'm just going to try and get it through one plus I don't think I'd make it twice through those tiny uh, either 11 or 15 O C beads so there we go I'm going to move the rest of my beads down and do okay I'm in love with this necklace oh my gosh I love it so much so it is the perfect length it's definitely giving vintage 80s vibes <laughs> um, coastal Florida <laughs> and it's exactly what I was going for I love it so much very just typical um, bead streaming streaming project but you know you can do the same necklace a million times and it'll never look the same um, if you use different beads so I want to make some bracelets because that's just how I love having jewelry that matches so um, I have a lot of leftover sunstone a lot of the seed beads um, 
some of these check glass beads but I got out some smaller beads that I thought would be more um, appropriate for a bracelet and these match quite well they also came from Sam's I mean not Sam's uh, Al's uh, silver and beads in, in Phoenix um, there's a little bit more green on these than um, the necklace but that's okay I think it's fine I'm gonna pair it with the sunstone I found this in a bag of beads sent by Janie and I really want to do something with that um, these are a little bit more pink so I might mix these together have some more pink and brown and then green and then I found these I think these came from Pam which I haven't heard from her in a very long time I did check in with somebody um, with her on Facebook and or have somebody check in with her on Facebook and she's she's doing okay she's just not posting um, so I was a little worried about her I got these from Pam's um, Be Temptation and then um, these just came from Joann's so I mean I got a lot of options here I Maybe I'll do two or three bracelets, but this is the baggie of, oh no, I don't know where the baggie of shells from Janie went, but, um, and then I got another bag of shells here. So we're going to have fun. Um, first thing I'm thinking is just like crowding a bunch onto some cord, whether it's bead stringing wire or, um, elastic cord. I, don't know. I think elastic cord will fit through here. Let me see. some point eight millimeter what's going on here give up the goods it doesn't want to give up the goods okay here we go Yeah, that fits on my elastic cord. So I'm just gonna pile a bunch of these. Like I said, I'm gonna kind of mix some. I, I, I just don't want all this dark green. I'm gonna just mix a few together. I'm not gonna mix all my strands. Mix a couple of these. And I am not really going to pay a lot of attention to how I'm putting these on because I'm just putting them on. Like, I just want to get them on there. Kind of not even paying attention to which ones I'm picking up either. Okay, that's exactly what I want. I'm just going to keep putting them on randomly. Um, some shell outside first, some shell inside first. That one's a little small. A hole, I mean. Okay, just a few more. Alright, I think that looks good. I think that's perfect. I'm going to move these away. Um, I'm not sure that this cord will fit through these little tiny seed beads. I think I have some other seed beads that'll work if it doesn't fit. It's trying, but it's not going to work. So let's see. These are a little bigger. I have to invest in more metal seed beads. Oops. It is kind of hard to get these to move down the stretch cord, though. Like, that didn't move anything, really. There we go. I'm just going to have to keep going. And then I'm going to put on a check bead.
And I'm just gonna put the sunstones around the back. Okay, so I have my bracelet. I actually ended up putting the sunstone on one side and then just starting right here because I'm gonna need a hole to hide the um, knot and the holes on the sunstone beads are a little small. So I'm just going to pre-stretch. Um, over time, elastic cord will stretch out and pre-stretching will make it so you don't have to restring your bracelet as quickly if you need to at all. All right, so I'm just gonna go like this cord over cord, pull tight, do it again, and one more time. There are several ways to do this. This is the way that works for me. And then I'm just going to use my G6, E6, no, not G6000, GS Hypo Cement. My goodness, I was trying to combine two different glue companies. Um, dab my knot both sides you don't need a lot here and then um, I will pull tight on those ends one more time to get that glue worked into that knot and then you, I would wait five to ten minutes but I'm super impatient all the time and cut my tails let's see if it'll fit in the sunstone bead oh it, it will Oh, would you look at that? So there's the first bracelet, so cute. I love it. And then the good thing about this bracelet is I'm it's it um obviously like I could see the shells on top, but if I'm just like feeling a little bit less like doing less, it's just a sunstone bracelet. So it's really versatile, very cute. Ugh, I love it. Now I'm going to do at least two more bracelets because I really, really, really want to make something with this and I kind of want to make something with those. So um, I'm going to grab, see if I have any leather that's skinny enough for this, but I might end up using Eslon or wax linen. Actually, wax linen might be the better idea here. I have this wax linen from Beads Inc. Came in one of their bead kits. I think a necklace, but I want to know. I don't know. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think this will fit through my sunstone beads, but that's not absolutely necessary that it does. I don't need to use it on. Yeah, this is very thick. Hmm. Let's see. I want to see if I can do. I may want to use scissors with this. So it was very hard to cut. Yeah, this is pretty thick cord. I'm only, I wanted to run it through here twice. And I don't think that would happen. All right, I'm going to use something else. All right, I got out three different things. So I have some Eslon, I have some different wax linen that's a little bit thinner and some leather, although I want to try the leather with something else. So let's try this wax linen. I think I should be able to get two pieces through here. I don't know how much I'm cutting. All right. Okay, we got it. All right, so one is gonna go to the right and one is gonna go to the left and actually I want it to be like that. This one can go to the left. This one can go to the right gonna not overhand if you've never worked with the wax linen uh, or you haven't worked with it very much that's the like white looking stuff on here it is the wax I don't work with it too often it's just because I don't 
I don't really have a lot of it and I don't think about it. It's not that I don't like it. I do like it. I think it's easier on some types of projects and that'll stick right there. All right, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, so now I'm just going to make a bracelet. Um, I'm going to do hopefully I can get this through my check glass bead, cut it on an angle. I don't know if this is going to make it through the sunstone, so let's try. Oh, it works. And I'm actually going to cut <clears throat> the tail here. That's kind of pretty. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Let me trim this tail off. It's actually a really pretty necklace too, but I want this guy to come over here a little bit more. There we go. It actually would be a really pretty necklace to layer with my longer necklace. See this? You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know. Do I want it as a necklace or a bracelet? I kind of want it as a necklace. Like a shorter one. Because then it would just come up like that. <gasps> yeah, I think we're going to have to do a necklace instead. Never know what Brittany's going to do, I guess. <laughs> well, I still do have really good bracelet ideas for my second one. So I think we'll, we'll keep this as a necklace. Um, good thing I pulled a bunch of string. Oh, I love it and it looks so cute. It's gonna be so cute layered. I gotta measure it on myself. Because I might have to add something on one side because one side's pretty short. Oh, no, I think it'll be fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is do a little knot right next to these beads so they don't move. Um, up or down the necklace. I can't believe I'm making a second necklace when I set out to make a bracelet, but this shell looks so cute and it's going to be so nice next to uh, the larger necklace if I feel like layering. And if I don't feel like layering, this is a lot like lighter necklace. It's not going to be as hot as this one. Like right today, it's supposed to be 114 degrees. Probably not going to wear that big of a necklace. In the, like this portion of the summer. It's not even summer yet. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. I love hot weather. I'm saying I would take this any day over snow, but I do get a little cranky anything above 110. <laughs> All right. So those are locked in place. I love this as a sweet little necklace. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. 
who knew I was going to walk away with two necklaces today. And then I'm just going to find a clasp. I think I'm just going to use, I don't think I'm going to use a toggle. I think I'm going to use this, um, just the officer. Put a knot right here because that's where I want my necklace to end. And do one more knot. I'm gonna pull this with my um, pliers to get it to pull pretty tight and then I'm just gonna dot that with glue. Although the wax might keep it in place, I just want it to last a long time. Just making sure. There we go. I'll let that dry before I cut it and I'm just gonna grab a jump ring. All right, now I, this is kind of where it becomes a little bit difficult. I wanna make sure that these are even and I tie kind of in the same spot, if not the exact same spot. So let's do a little bit of a knot. Okay, so we have that tied here, and then I'm just gonna do one more. Another great thing that I should have actually just done is using clamshells, but I didn't think about it until right now. Because I wasn't thinking about doing a necklace. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. There we go. Where's that JS Hypo Cement? Getting notifications that beads were just delivered and I'm super excited because they're gorgeous and they're from sellers that you, I haven't showed you before. So those will be coming up soon. Um, I am just going to snip my tails here and we are gonna make a bracelet because I wanted more than one. but I can't believe I made two necklaces here. It's awesome that I can either wear together or not. So simple, but so cute. Oh my gosh, isn't that pendant gorgeous? Thank you to Janie for that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so then um, if I want this longer, I can always put on a um, bunch more jump rings or um, an extender on the back. And actually now that I'm looking at this, it's a little bit longer on one side, but I think it'll be okay. Um, okay. So for our second bracelet, since we never made a second bracelet, I want to use some of these and I'm hoping that I can get it to work the way that I want. Do these have holes? Yes. Holes aren't very big though. I don't think it's going to work. Not the way I wanted it to. I can make it work, but it's not going to work for that style of bracelet that we all love. That's pretty easy. If you know what I'm talking about, come on. <gasps> All right, well, I got it in there. If I can just get it to go all the way through one of these beads, I think we can actually make the bracelet I wanna make. It's not entire, it's not exactly hollow in there, but it seems like it's getting caught up on some of these ridges. Come on, you can do it. Oh, 
All right, let me, there's four here. There are four here, so let's, we gotta get it, be able to get it through one of these. Maybe not. We made it. That's like the smallest one too. So I know I can make it through that one. I want to try the first one again because it's much. It's, it's not much larger, but it's a little bit larger, a little bit more sturdy. And I didn't try twisting like I just did. Huh, it's not gonna work. Okay, I don't care. We're gonna use the smaller one. gonna move it down all right we're gonna make my favorite type of bracelet because they're fast and silly easy so we're just gonna line up our two ends you can cut as much um, leather as you think you'll need and I'm just gonna make a button out of this bead by making a knot all right, so we're lined up there. Now you could just put a another bead on and secure it up against our shell, but I'm just gonna do a knot. It's gonna be a little bit easier than finding a bead that'll, both of these will fit through. And we're just gonna try and get that knot as close to that shell as we possibly can. Oh. It's okay to like start taking it apart to put it back together again because sometimes you get caught up a little bit. Here we go. And I'm pretty sh actually, I don't know where this uh, one millimeter leather came from. It could be Bracelet Street America, but not sure. So here is our bead as a button. Now I am just going to put on a couple gold spacers or Z beads on each strand. And if you want, you can continue to, to knot down the bracelet. I, th I don't know what I want to do yet. So um, I'm going to find don't know if the sunstone will fit, so let's test it out. Oh, we are in luck. It does fit. Okay, that's what I'm going to do here is just um, alternate between the Picasso and the Sunstone beads on this strand, and then I'll figure something else out for the other strand. Okay, on this side, I'm just gonna finish it off with one Picasso and one gold because it seems to be long enough. And then um, I'm gonna work on my second strand, which I guess I could do the same. But I wanted to jazz it up a little bit more than that.
It looks nice right next to our other little pattern. I think that brightens up the bracelet quite a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna load on the rest of those beads. Okay, so I've beaded up both ends of the leather and this, like I said, this bracelet is easy as pie. So all you do is grab your piece of leather, leather make a knot here. Snug that up against your beads, and you can do a barrel knot, but not necessary. Okay, and then what I'll do is find, um, come up here, put my shell through my two pieces of leather. This is my go-to easy bracelet. <laughs> if I'm not doing stretch bracelets, obviously. Um, and then just kind of measure where you need uh, your next knot to go so that that bead will slip through your two pieces. Bring my bead back. And you can hang a charm on here. You could do whatever you want. I actually got out a cute little starfish charm, but didn't make its way into the pieces we made today because I surprised myself and made a second necklace. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna knot that, making sure that that's gonna go around our shell. Get it a little closer. And then I'm just gonna put a couple beads on the end of my bracelet. I can't believe how far that strand of sunstone went. I still have like three or four beads left. It's crazy. Oh, whoops. Okay, and then I'll just knot at the end of my little tails, and we'll glue and then cut. I usually make these uneven by knotting shorter than the other. One shorter than the other. Okay. There we go, and I'm just going to trim. And there we have a really fun beachy bracelet. Oh my gosh, this actually turned out way cuter. I was worried <laughs> about the pattern I chose on this piece, but I actually really love how it's just not too much and it's just so wonderfully neutral. I can wear this any, I probably can wear this at any point during the year and it goes really well with my other bracelet. So it looks like I'm wearing three bracelets and my two necklaces. I can't believe we made four pieces in this video when I just set out to make the necklace, really. Look at that. Love it. I'm so excited. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Have you ever worked with Shell? And um, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super duper cute. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.
Good morning. Hello. Hi, baby. You are so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. What oh, baby? Give a little nose boops. Boop, boop, boop. Good morning. 